I have a feeling that she was going to be like giving birth and I'd be like, oh crap, now I have to find out her address and send it? That's too much work. I just got her a Toys R Us gift card. They don't even have them anymore. There's, you got her a gift card from a defunct store. Do you know what's Kendall, funny? let me go in my bag and get you a Montgomery Ward gift card. I just remember Kendall casually dropped that she would prefer gift cards. Here, let's do it right here on our cold open. Why don't you casually drop what you would like me to get you? Money. <laughs> <laughs> Cash is the prettiest gift. Oh, <gasps> oh wow. A whole I'm, Alexander Hamilton? There we go. <laughs> His name is Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> the, this is the room where it happened. <laughs> For all the open. <laughs> Here we go. Have a seat. Have a seat. Save your energy. We have an hour. I said if I was going to do TV, I was never not going to be myself. Merrily, merrily. Okay, you're not singing. Oh, no matter what they say. Oh, yeah. We're all the people who are a little bit different. You're sitting next to one on the couch. So let's just say that. Try not to suck today. Now, here's Jason. Hello, Iowa, Chicago, Seattle, Orlando. Thank you. Okay. Boom. Welcome to the show, everybody. We're glad. Boop. Yeah. I watched the show yesterday, and I, I don't. I never re. Oh, that music cut off real, uh, real quick there. I uh, I never rewatched the show, but I rewatched yesterday, and I did this little hop yesterday, and I. Boop, like that, and I, I thought, well, that's the goofiest thing I've ever seen in my life, but that's all right. Welcome to the show, everybody. My name is Jace. Uh, I'm in a really good mood today because today's my anniversary. Aww. That's right. Nine, nine, nine years, and as Colin jokes, two good ones with me. Yeah, two good ones. No, the audience didn't laugh at that. It's going to be a long show. It's going to be a long show, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, uh, I bring this up because it's always uh, a good opportunity. Uh, this is how weird I am, especially for all of you new people in Orlando and Iowa and uh, Chicago. Seattle knows by now how weird I am. But I, one of my favorite movies, and Collins, too, is Steel Magnolias. And there's a reason I'm telling you this. Uh, I, I directed the play, actually, in college, and I love it. I had the movie memorized, and, and we thought it would be fun at our wedding uh, to not do a normal wedding cake because that's boring you know and we're a little theatrical uh so we thought hey uh, uh the staff's laughing at that comment right now so the audience is not um <laughs> it's gonna be a long hour uh but no so uh we said let's do a unique groom cake well uh, a unique wedding cake in steel magnolias there's a famous scene with a bleeding armadillo groom's cake uh, that, that Julia Roberts has and Shirley MacLaine cuts into. Well, we found a baker. Here it is. Here's our wedding cake right there. <laughs> that is our actual... That is our actual wedding cake. Uh, and... And when, you, we, when we did cut into it, it did look like an autopsy. And, uh, like a quote, yeah. It was bad, and at the end of the night, our, the woman that was kind of helping us, handling us, she looked at me, and she was, about, her daughter still watches the show. Um, she, was, she was like this big, the cutest little flower ever, and she looked at me, and she goes, this is like midnight, you know, I'm tired. She was, Mr. Matheson? I go, yeah. She was, what would you like me to do with the armadillo? And I said, <laughs> Like, well, that's a question I never thought I would be asked on my wedding day. Put in the room. Let's get started, Leo. Roll it. Here we go. <laughs> what would you like me to do with the armadillo? Oh, yes. <laughs> Audience, give it up. She's still here. It's Kendall Mark, everybody. That's right. Hi. How you feel? 
feel great. How you feeling, my love? You feeling good? I feel fine. Like, I'm ready to have a baby. Yeah, you know, I know. Mm -hmm. Every day is just a little closer. And then eventually we'll be past. I know. I just, <laughs> but you're feeling okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I wanted to ask you, though, what, what piece of pottery did you get Colin for your ninth wedding oh. anniversary? Oh, because it's pottery for your nine? <laughs> Apparently. I, I don't. I don't do that. I don't. I, he, I, thank you, audience. I don't do that. And the audience nice is with me. On I don't. I don't. Uh, do, do I have to make pottery or what do I do? We can sign you up. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'll, you know what? What? D Daddy's buying dinner tonight. That's fine. I mean, that's, you know, we're going to our. Yeah, I just. No crocs. Yeah, that's, no that's, that's, that's fine. No. I love you. And uh, uh, let me just really quickly just say uh, with this goofy job and everything, uh, uh, Colin puts up with a lot with me. Um, I give you guys uh, usually the best of me, and by the time I get home, I'm I'm shockingly not always uh, talkative, and he puts up with that. And I, uh, he's a very patient guy, and he's the better of the two. So I just want to say I love you. Let's get started, everybody. It's time for the hot dish. Roll it, Leo. Here we go. I'm always delightful when I come home. Uh, first up, the audience likes that one. <laughs> we said it. Uh, we said it might happen yesterday on yesterday's show, and last night it did. For the first time in about a decade, the guys from NSYNC reunited on a stage. That's right. Thank you. Aaron is the only one applauding that. It's fine. But, but they were there to present, not perform. At the VMAs, look. Over 20 years ago, we were just kids when we won Best Pop Video for Bye Bye Bye. It was our first VMA, and it meant the world to us. <laughs> Was it? That was it? Well, they had to write their own jokes, so. <laughs> so <you know>. oh, <laughs> Think about it. Oh, look at you. <laughs> look, look at you, you little sassy cauliflower. Look at that. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but we don't get any. What about like a few dance steps or something? It was. That's the reunion. That's not a reunion. That's a get together. What are you? That's not. That's a soiree. Oh no 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 no. no. What are you holding? Oh, that's my Beavis and Butthead pencil. I'm sorry. I'll put that down. Yeah. A viewer gave it to me. And Sync presented. Uh, they didn't perform. They presented best pop video. Taylor Swift won. Well, she won like 55. Uh, and asked the guys really the question on everybody's mind that watched this. Look. I'm not doing well pivoting from this to this. Like, I had, I had your dolls. I like, what, like, are you doing something? What's gonna happen now? What are you, there's something they're gonna, they're gonna do something and I need to know what it is. We all do, that's right. Well, uh, Taylor, I call her TT, uh, won nine <laughs> trophies last night, tied for the most wins in one night. And this is what I love. Forget that. Mm -hmm. for, that was, I like, I loved NSYNC, but that, I felt cheated. Mm -hmm. What I loved, though, what I loved, audience, was the fact that there was, this is how big Taylor Swift is in the universe. They literally had a cameraman assigned to just her for her <laughs> reaction shots. Uh -huh. Leo, take our version of Taylor Swift in our audience today. There she is right there, that's it. Front row. That's it. Right there she is. Eric. Photo photo photographer. Hey, photographer Eric, don't get off that shot. Just stay right there. <laughs> the best performance of the night definitely goes, she's gonna kill me. She uh, definitely goes to Shakira. She was, she was trending all night and all morning. She was honored with the Video Vanguard Award and did a 10 minute performance of her hits. Here's a little bit of it.
That is 46. That is 46 years old Look right there. And she's crowd surfing. Oh. At one point, Shakira crowd surfed, and she still sang while crowd surfing. Oh my gosh. She's amazing. It, you know what it did, all joking aside, it reminded you of how good she was so and good. how good she is. Yeah. And again, that is 46, Leo, take five. This is 49. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I have toe problems, I have back problems. Again, sometimes the good Lord gives with both hands and one times he gives with just a thumb. That's right. <laughs> Next in the dish. <laughs> you like that one, cauliflower? That was good. You like that one? He writes his own jokes. That's right. <laughs> Next in the dish, let's get let's get back to Taylor Swift. Several new reports suggest she may have a new love interest. And uh, yeah, he's very I know audience, but wait. He's very familiar to us football fans. Uh, according according to page six. Uh, TT has been seeing Kansas City Chief star Travis Kelsey Kelsey uh, for a few weeks. Yes. I'm a huge Travis Kelsey fan. Um, <laughs> this comes after that man admitted he tried to give Taylor's phone number at one of her concert stops this summer. And on a recent episode of his podcast, Kelsey's brother, fellow NFL player Jason Kelsey, brought up Taylor. Look, have you found out what Taylor Swift thinks of your mustache? Um, yeah, we're not going to bring up Taylor Swift uh, <laughs> in this episode. Um, but something tells me she's going to like it. <laughs> oh, my God. First, look at those eyebrows. Those are eyebrows, man. I love those. Kelsey did admit he was in uh, New York recently during a break from training camp. And, um, oh, Taylor lives in New York. What a, mm -hmm. what a quinkity. I mean, so does, like, Oh, 20 million other people, but you know, anyway. Uh -huh. Do you think they're dating? There might be. He tried to give her one of those friendship bracelets that are really big on the tour with his phone number on it. Oh. And then it said on his podcast, like he was sad that she didn't that's take cute. it from him. Oh, so that's cute. things have moved from there. Oh, and they're the same age? They're both 33. They're oh. my age. What am I doing with my life? I'm having a baby. <laughs> you're birthing. I mean, you're creating life. That's right. You are going to raise an amazing human being. Don't do this now. I'm way too hormonal. I'm due like tomorrow. Don't, yeah, okay. don't be nice to Hold me. Hold my hand while I read the break. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> back in a moment. <laughs> Hey, don't forget if you're brand new to us, hello, don't forget to follow us on social media. Go to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, search the Jason Show TV. Well, the cast is set for the new season of Dancing with the Stars. The big, and look, 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 look. I usually call it Dancing with the Semi Stars, but I gotta tell you, the big reveal happened on GMA, and we're a little impressed. Look. He's two time Grammy winner, Dancing with the Stars. Jason Mraz fighting for that mirror ball with partner Daniela. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Let's go, girl. You loved her in Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Now she's bringing those dance moves back 26 years later. Good morning, America! It's Mira Servino with Gleb. I mean... Okay. Tepid applause from the audience, but I mean, I got a bit audience. This is better than some years when it's like the extra from a Charmin commercial, you know? So, <laughs> it's like Mr. Whipple's nephew, you know? And, and, and if you get that reference, you're as old as me, yeah. Singer, uh, okay, so uh, Jason Mraz, mm -hmm. who has a hit right now. I love, I've always loved Jace. Mm -hmm. And actress Mira Sorvino. I mean, isn't she coming to the Twin Cities Friday? She's in Crypticon now. So anyway, anyway, uh, those are two of the biggest names on the cast this year. I think Mira Sorvino's at a con this weekend here in town. She's anyway. not a con, she's at a con. No, she's at like a convention, you know, that's what oh, the kids call it. Okay. Yeah. Other stars include, oh. thank you, audience. Uh, <laughs> other stars include How I Met Your Mother star, Allison Hannigan. Oh, yeah. 
You know, hello, American Pie. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. you know, that's good. And listen to this, former Minnesota Viking, Adrian Peterson. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Okay, I'll just refrain. Anyway, uh, and then Greg Brady himself, yeah. Barry Williams. Greg is looking good. I mean, he was Johnny Bravo, you know, on the Brady Bunch. And then real estate mogul and husband of real, uh, a real housewife, Kyle Richards, Mauricio. Oh, and when I say husband, I mean uh, for a couple more months. Uh, the new season, thanks audience, the new season returns to ABC this year. It was on Disney Plus, now it's back on ABC because ABC doesn't have any programming because of the strike. Uh, Tuesday, uh, September 26th. Hmm. Yeah. I love your Yeah, movie. thank you. Yeah. And then, do you know who Tyson Beckford is? Yes. Mm -hmm. He was a model, do you know? No. Yeah, you're, t you're a youngin. Sorry. He was like the, Aaron was like, yes! <laughs> Aaron was Aaron ready. Swabarini, we were both. He was a, in the age of like Cindy Crawford and uh, uh, Naomi Campbell, yeah. he was kind of like the male supermodel oh, so of that hot. era. Oh, he hot. He hot. Oh, we'll Google a picture and show you. Okay. Oh, no. He is very... The audience is Googling him right now. It's funny, yeah. <laughs> He's very attractive. Next in the dish, Netflix is ready to spook up your, uh, your month. We're getting our first look at a new series. And this one is from the guy that gave us the haunting of Hill House. This one is called The Fall of the House of Usher. This is creepy, look. Roderick Usher, your family is a collection of stunted hearts. First time this comes. Are you consequence? And tonight is consequential. I'm gonna head out. I've got an appointment with your dad. Yeah. So Bruce Greenwood, I love him. Uh, the show is based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe and follows a wealthy family targeted by a mysterious woman. The uh, series hits Netflix on October 12th. Is someone going to get stuck in a wall? I hope so. <laughs> what? Edgar Allan Poe? There's the guy that gets oh. stuck in the wall. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, we didn't have Edgar Allan Poe in Indiana. Oh, okay. We didn't read. We didn't, <laughs> we, we didn't have books like that in Indiana. But anyway, okay. um, I love his other series. Mm -hmm. I like Bly the Manor first. I great. like Bly Manor. I like Haunted I, Hill House. Mm -hmm. I liked Hill House better. Last year I, was weird. It was it was a the little weird. Thing. I trust him a little bit more than Ryan Murphy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna watch this because I like the cast too. Yes. I love Bruce Greenwood and anything he does. And how they reuse people from every season. Yeah, it's roles. like a, like Ryan Murphy does. He has a cast. He has a group of actors he likes to work with. Mm -hmm. And he uh, Christopher Guest in the uh, all of it Best in Show, Waiting right. for Guffman. Yeah, I, I mm -hmm. like that. I like that that trick of yeah, doing that. Yeah, me too. Um, by the way, mm -hmm. you've now seen a picture of supermodel oh Tyson my Beckford. Oh god. Yeah. You guys. The audience was also shown Tyson Beckford. I mean, this man is... Yeah. Can I show... I can't... Okay. You can't show that because Google it yourself. we don't have the rights and that'll cost us $18,000 if you show that photo. Yeah. But I would it, pay it. Let me see what photo he gave you. No. Okay. I want it. Is it naughty? No, it's oh, really. Oh, hello. I just want to keep yeah. looking at it. No. I mean, that smirky smirk. He's very attractive. So he'll be on Dancing with the Semi Stars. I will watch. Get ready uh, next in the hot dish. Get ready for a, a movie version of a classic TV show. But probably not the one you expected. Which show? This one. <laughs> Well, a pair of screenwriters confirmed this week that they wrote, a pair of screenwriters confirmed they wrote a script for a movie version of the CBS hit Murder, She Wrote. The TV show ran for 12 years in the 80s and 90s, starring Angela Lansbury as Jessica Fletcher, a, murder, a mystery writer who solves real-life homicides. The movie is currently on hold because, well, Hollywood is a spirit Halloween store right now, so there's nothing happening. They're busy. This is what I, I question this on my radio show because my, uh, my uh, friend Alexis is a diehard Murder, She Wrote fan, and I was shocked at her reaction. Here's, here's what I want to say about this. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. 
Because sometimes an, uh, a show is bigger than the actor on the show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, look at, look at the changes, cast changes. You know, they always brought in new lassies. Uh, Bewitched had two okay, Darrens. Okay, a dog. We're literally you know, talking about a no, dog. No, but I mean, here. but, you know, <laughs> but everybody's replaceable. Right. I have to say, in my opinion, 90% of the recipe of success for Murder, She Wrote mm -hmm. is Angela Lansbury. Mm. Right, audience? Yeah. I don't know. You just can't take that concept. You just can't take that concept right. and then drop somebody else in. I, I, I think Murder, She Wrote worked. Murder, She Wrote is, just, is Angela Lansbury. And if you don't have her in RIP, she's no longer with us. Mm -hmm. I, I just think it's silly. What if you put, like, Meryl Streep in there? Yes. Like I don't know. You know, what if the... Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say yes. If, if you're Meryl Streep, mm -hmm. I, that would be fun. Right. You, you would have to get somebody big like Meryl to make Gravitas. it go, ooh, what are they going to do? Or uh, flip the format. Okay. Don't make it obvious. Like, for instance, before the strike happened, remember CBS brought back Matlock. Matlock was going to premiere this oh, yeah. fall with Kathy Bates as Matlock. Yes. But in their version of the show, the TV show Matlock existed. Mm -hmm. So it's not a redo of Matlock. It's new. Because Kathy Bates walks into a meeting as, and she goes, my name is Matlock. Yeah, like the TV show. Right. So they, if they're going to bring this back without Angela, you, I, just flip the format somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. I don't know, but nobody's asking me. It's all right. Hey, it's time to meet our first JVIP of the week. Three days a week, we feature an at-home fan of the show. Today, it's uh, Jean uh, Vessio from Spring Lake Park, Minnesota. When we asked her what she likes about the show, she says, a good show starts with a good host, and that, my friend, is you guys. She says, my, our ability to convey ideas in an entertaining manner has her tuning in to see what we'll say next. She also says uh, that I'm well-dressed. Well, thank you. Yes. I appreciate that. And very creative and funny. Thank you. Is she holding a shot? Um, yeah. Well, can we just take a look at Jeannie's picture? Is that a margarita? Or like a Scooby snack? At a girl. <laughs> or a shot. That's my kind of girl right, right there. Well, she that's a Scooby snack shot, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, my VFW friends know that. Uh, <laughs> it's row three. Uh, she gets a Jason Show mug. She's also entered to win the monthly grand prize. That includes being a VIP guest in our audience, a $150 gift card to Becker Furniture World, and a $150 gift card to the Institute. Institute of Advanced Aesthetics. That's right. So we have we have special guests for the rest of the hour. We'll be right back, back in a moment. Stay right there, coming up in just a little bit. The entire cast of the hit show Project Fear is here. We are back. We're back. <laughs> and there's a lot of scary coming up, including unbelievable footage from their new season. <laughs> in a prison in Joliet, Illinois. Wait till you see this. That and more when we come back. Welcome back. Oh, this is going to be fun. Never happened before. Well, uh, they, yeah, they hunt ghosts and paranormal activity in creepy spots across the country, spending the night in some of the scariest places you've ever seen. And they share it all on their immensely popular YouTube show, Project Fear. Look. Something's moving above me. Okay. 
That's part of what happened when the team slept alone at a haunted sanatorium in my home state of Indiana. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show the team from Project Fear, Dakota, Chelsea, Tanner, and Alex, everyone. <laughs> We were just saying in the break, this is kind of monumental for us because you've been on the show countless times. We've never met. I know. <laughs> We've never met. It's always yeah. been on Zoom. We've always yeah. had to do Zoom and I know. all that. And nice great. to meet yeah. everybody. Yeah. And do you mind if I give you some congratulations? We're in town because Chelsea's getting married. Yeah. So what's scarier, a haunted house or impending marriage? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, th I still think the haunted stuff. Yeah, yeah we'll talk after the show. <laughs> Nine years, Chelsea, right here. Okay, let's talk about that. Yes. What was that? So that was uh, at the Indiana State Sanatorium, and that actually wasn't a ghost. That was a person breaking into the building, and we later discovered, we believe it was a person based off the order of events that happened that night, and I was all alone up there in a building. You could tell they were far away in their own different buildings, um, and that was terrifying. That was probably our most dangerous night we've ever had. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me just reset the scene. So, you... Are you alone in that area? Yes, we had been sleeping alone for about an hour at this point, and we were supposed to go for three more hours, and then that happened. And when, you, when I heard that, like, I could tell, like, I could feel the movement above me. I could feel someone stepping, and I called them right away. Like, I felt like I was about to be attacked or something. And uh, you'll have to watch that one. It's wild. Because where are you guys again when that's happening? At, at least, like, 300, like 300 yards away. Like, like, super far away in different buildings. Like, he's in an eight-story... Um, building. Chelsea's in the hospital. I'm in the tunnel system, and De and Alex is in the administration building. Mm -hmm. We're just so far separated. Can I add that we don't have flashlights mm -mm, no. at this yeah. point? Yeah, yeah, we didn't have flashlights yeah. at this one. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, exactly. You don't have, you don't have flashlights. We are all sitting no. there without flashlights. It's Project Fear. We have to be scared. <laughs> yeah. it's the point of the show. It's supposed to be There's scary. the title. Okay. Do you ever get flashlights? Yes. Sometimes. Alex actually started that trend by yeah, taking did him away that. one night, and we just kind of thought it was great. Yeah. You took him away? Yeah. I took him away one time, and it kind of stuck. It it really scared us all. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> well, yeah, Alex! <laughs> okay, um, is this the clip that you were talking... Okay, this is what they wouldn't let me look at before mm. the show. Oh. All, all Jeff would say is Shadow Man. So, who yes. wants... Oh. So, I always say, come back to the TV. If you're doing laundry, watching our show, come back to the TV. Set this up for us. Yeah, so we're at the Indiana State Sanatorium. These guys all go into the, the main housing unit. I'm outside with a thermal camera filming that building because last time we were there, we caught something moving in the windows. So, that's what you're seeing is my angle of this... Uh, of this uh, building with the thermal camera. Roll it, Leo. And you'll see. Uh, Dakota, can you it is so cold. There's someone standing right there. Dude, what? Oh. Open up. There is a light that just went off. What just happened? Was... What? Did you see that? Oh, my God. Oh, get behind your dad. Oh, what? I believe you, though, because I've got so cold, followed by you guys screaming and then saying there's something behind me and there's a light and there's a person. <sighs> felt like there was some woman we were talking to and then there was a male who almost like didn't want her like out and about. Okay, that's creepy. Okay, now, so that's kind of the setup there. Now look, let's roll the video, Leo, if we can. And, what, okay, now what, let me look at this closely. I'm so Look at the window below them. You can see their heat signatures. Now look at the window below them. Boom. You'll see it in a replay. The window below them, there's like a cold mass that runs by. Yeah, so black on the thermal is like cold. Mm -hmm. Black on the thermal is cold. Yes. Oh. So watch right. that window at the bottom, middle. Bottom, right. middle. Boom. Oh! oh. <laughs> no! That's what I'm <laughs> yeah, and I'd see if it was a person. That ain't a rat. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cold. That's the thing that blew us away is it's freezing cold. So if this was a, a heat signature or an animal, you'd see red or orange. And we oh. were getting responses like uh, child, little girl. And so, like, the height of that kind of correlated with uh, what we were getting. Yeah. And we got the word downstairs, and that was, like, True. right below us. So mm -hmm. we're like, something's going on down there. Oh, you are right. You, so you guys are, oh, yeah, hello. I can see you guys are right above. Yeah. Oh, no, I'd be right out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be right out of there. How 
uh, uh, just uh, like a behind the scenes question. You get that footage back, you get the thermal. Uh, how many times are you looking at it basically frame by frame to make sure you're not missing something? Because I got to tell you, it took me, well, I'm looking at three, uh, my, with the lights and stuff, but how long does it take you to look at that? A footage? while. I mean, we always review everything and try to make sure we don't miss anything but this one I actually caught in the moment because I'm staring at it and because it happened right below them my eyes were locked in in that area and I saw it live and I freaked out I walked them we ended up meeting up and getting to the bottom of it okay <laughs> yeah. and I'm allegedly going out with these guys <laughs> come on the gang from Project Fear sticking around see what happens during their overnight stay at an abandoned prison outside of Chicago Hello, Chicago. <laughs> you can watch full episodes of Project Fear on YouTube. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. Oh, my God. And we're back. Project Fear. Look for them on YouTube. Hey, because, you know, we're in so many uh, more cities now and new folks, I, you know, if, if I want, you're, you're introducing yourself, I'm introducing you to you, to me, uh, introducing you to these guys, if you don't know, really quickly, question for either of you, the history of the show, can you give me the, re give the folks the Reader's Digest if they're, if they're new to all of us? Yeah, yeah. So we've been doing this forever since we were in middle school, but then a couple years ago, we got a TV show on the Travel Channel called Destination Fear. It was the concept that we created many, many years ago, and unfortunately, this last year, we got canceled, but we were able to do a Kickstarter campaign, and we raised enough money to take the show to YouTube and shoot for three years. Yeah. yeah. Three years. Yeah. yeah. Minimum. Minimum <laughs> three years. So. That's, if you didn't hear three, that's great, guys. And no middleman. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, I love my network. I'm just don't, you know, but I love my bosses, <laughs> but that's great. Okay. Again, look for them on YouTube. Let's uh, move now. Joliet. Hi, Joliet. Oh, yeah. Illinois. Where are we here? Uh, Joliet. Oh, so, oh, take a look. Yeah. They captured something creepy on camera. Look at this. Yes. When we were here last, we had a strange EVP captured in this exact area, and now our walkies are being interfered with. Is there a spirit here that is doing that? I don't know. I mean, it was a jail cell rattling, like, the moment we were asking questions about if there's someone in here. Because it's loud, I, the audience and I, it's loud through television. Mm -hmm. So was it, like, in person, was it just apparent? Was it even louder than what it seemed on TV? Uh, yeah, you definitely can just feel it just bang against your eardrums, and then it was really weird coincidence maybe that the flashlight started dying immediately after that too yeah i don't think that's a coincidence. <laughs> i don't know why call me crazy yeah. but uh and then the yeah the the so this is jo this is a prison yes. dakota joliet it's a massive prison we've actually been there in the, in the past and we had to go back to see it again for ourselves and it's terrifying i mean this that was one of like the minor things that happened that night this was a non-stop creepy night mm -hmm. and you can go visit if you're in Joliet <laughs> oh yeah pick up a brochure <laughs> stop by the gift store they got t-shirts they got t-shirts they, they do they have t-shirts I, I was making that up they do <laughs> okay um what is it was that what we were seeing the demon of Joliet prison <laughs> so what the was, hell is this <laughs> so that was later in the night Chelsea and Alex were taking oh goody photos. it wasn't over after <laughs> that yeah I mean, you guys are taking pictures. You can touch on it. It was yep. pretty weird. I mean, they captured a face on camera that looked evil. It looked demonic. We don't know for sure, but that's the best word we could put to it. It was demon. Yeah, we were just taking photo after photo, swiping through the photos. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And all of a sudden, there was just, like, this creepy-looking thing on the ceiling. Of course, the ceiling. Of course, the ceiling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the ceiling. <laughs> like, terrifying. And then, yeah, I, I ended up actually having to spend more time there later on oh, that yeah. night. Oh, after yeah. seeing the photo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's fantastic.
fantastic. Yeah, she actually got uh, handcuffed to a door in that same she spot. All night. Right there. All night. Cuffed. Luck of the draw. Luck, luck of, of the draw. draw. Actually, yeah. luck of the poll. Yeah, yeah we did a poll on Twitter, and we had our fans do an anonymous poll. Pick A, B, C, or D. Everyone pick C. Who doesn't C for pick Chelsea. C? Chelsea. Everyone and uh, she was handcuffed to that the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> what did you pick C? You yeah. know that. I don't know. I'm going to test if you don't know the answer, you pick C. Yeah, you always exactly. pick C. Right? Yes. Well, <laughs> set up. Maybe your name shouldn't be Chelsea. <laughs> Look, you, you, do this, you, you do this for a living. I've asked a version of this with you guys before, but for, let's just take you and that, that particular thing. Were you terrified? Like, not just scared. Were there moments where you were, like, terrified? Terrified. You actually yeah. get mentally to a point where you're so scared that, like, you just kind of shut down because there's, like, nothing else you can do. Like, my walkie didn't even work, so I was handcuffed to a door, no. and I'm just like... <laughs> No, <laughs> no. We checked on her a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, Tanner. Tanner, that's so nice of you to check on her every so often. Because where are you guys when that's happening? Uh, we're on our own cell blocks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not, yeah. Handcuffed. Yeah. Not yeah. handcuffed. Not handcuffed. Not handcuffed. Not this night. Of course, you. I mean, <laughs> you always pick C. Uh, more with the crew when we come back. Back in a moment, everybody. Stay with us. So, how long all together were you? Welcome back. Oh, this is great. My guests today are our friends from Project Fear on YouTube. Uh, before we, we play a little game, you know, uh, uh, some parental units are in the audience today. What, yeah. What, yeah, row one. Uh, what, what, do your, what does your family, what did your family think when this first happened, and what do they think now? Do they think you're crazy? I think yeah. they think we're crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Are we crazy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a little, I mean, a little bit crowd. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they supported us from the beginning. They're here today, which is so cool. Yeah. And yeah, we've had a lot of support. Uh, is there going to be, like, you know, Family Feud does, like, Celebrity Edition. Is there going to be, like, a Family Edition where you oh, pull them in? Oh. Family Feud? Uh, <laughs> that would be cool. That would yeah, be a great should. idea. I mean, you know. Yeah, we have yeah. to. After we, <laughs> after we chain you to a prison. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, this is no joke. A woman emailed the radio show, and she goes, um... I heard you say it's Halloween time that you promised the Project Fear people. <laughs> Are you going to do that? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I promised them on a, a last episode that I would go with them. And I'm here to say again, yes. Oh, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do yeah. it. Don't make me option C. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for D. <laughs> okay, we're going to play a little fun game. So we've seen them spend the night in haunted places across the country, but how afraid are they of common things that will spook all of us? We're going to put them to the test. I'm going to name something scary, and they have to say which one of the team is do they think is the most scared of it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Common scary thing number one. Who is scared of snakes? Dakota. Uh, Oh, oh, so bad. So bad. Yeah. Yeah. You all mile. didn't hesitate. Yeah. Mile. Mile. And there's a whole story coming. there. Chelsea made me touch a snake once on one of our episodes. To Those little mystery boxes where you can't see? Oh, yeah. yeah. yes. There's five snakes in the box. Five constrictors in there. But anyway. We <laughs> so that's a hard yes yeah. for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, next. Um, Clowns. Ooh. I would say I, all of us. I, I yeah. Feel like this all of us. Yeah. 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 Okay. Wouldn't want to see They're one in funny. the hallway. No, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see one at the end of like the Joliet prison. Exactly. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Okay, here I have one of mine. Dark water. Anybody afraid of dark oh. water? Oh. Yes. Chelsea, really? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> yeah, depths and heights. No. I want to be right here. Right here. <laughs> yes. No, I want to see. Yes. I'm not getting in water no. where I can't see mm -mm. what's directly below me. Oh, my toes are curling right they, now. Right now, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Needles. Ooh. Oh, anybody? Uh, uh, oh, Honestly? No. no. I don't like them. No, no. You don't like you them? Don't okay. Like okay. I can care less for needles. Oh, this is a good one. Small talk. Probably uh, <laughs> Dakota. <laughs> Dakota. Yeah. Oh, I'll of everything. Dakota. <laughs> 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 
I hate small talk. It's the worst yeah. thing ever. <laughs> I never know what to say after, hi. <laughs> That's fair. Anyway, there we go. Uh, claustrophobia. Oh, yeah. You yeah. and you. Yeah, definitely. Well, you both? She, yeah. she locked me in a body cooler her entire time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these. Wait, wait. Yeah. Like, now do you understand why we handcuffed her A body her cooler. Oh, for like <laughs> yeah. more. Yeah, for four hours, and she locked me in there, and I'm... I, I swear, I'm actually a nice person. She is. <laughs> she is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chelsea's very nice, everyone. <laughs> it's like my low light reel. You know? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's why she got cooler. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I would not like that. It was bad. I'm I, very claustrophobic. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> all right, Chelsea. Let's see here. Let's do sharks. Oh, oh, I think I'm really? scared of sharks. I don't really want to see a shark in the no. ocean. No, I want to no. swim with one, no. but like, I'd be in a cage with one. Or <laughs> not with one. In the yeah. cage. It's on the outside. outside. Yeah, it's on not outside. in a cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Um, uh, you, Chelsea, you already said this, but heights? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 We are. Yeah. Yeah. All of you? Oh, heights? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, hey, gosh. I can't do that. Yeah. We've been to, like, some tall buildings I was just going to ask if, yeah. Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Or that little the... platform where you can step out and then look all the way down to the street. The Hancock building. building. Yeah. 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 We all stepped on, took a quick picture, and then jumped right off. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is what's interesting. Y'all can chain yourself to uh, rods <laughs> in prisons, but... The, the Hancock Tower. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah. uh, the last one, Flying Coach. Anybody? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's from executive producer Jeff. He's, he's very, he's afraid of coach. Well, anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give it up for the team for Project Fear. Yeah. Watch, go support him right now. Watch full episodes of Project Fear on YouTube and support them on socials as well. We're going to take a break. We'll be back after this. Back in a moment. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Do you think I'll do it? No. <laughs> You don't, I, uh, you don't think I'll go through with it? Y'all think he's going to do that? Stop it. No. Stop. Kendall, Jeff is literally on his computer right now setting it up. I'm, I'll do it. I have more it. faith that I will show up off maternity leave and do it <laughs> than I do that you would do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to prove you wrong. And by the way, mm -hmm. that's a joke, HR. She's not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for the world's shortest segment. We don't need any more trouble. Uh, less than two weeks after his death, Jimmy Buffett is back on top of the Billboard charts. This is great. His greatest hits album called Songs You Know By Heart is the number one album on Billboard. Yeah. It features classic songs like Margaritaville. Jimmy also have, uh, has five of the top ten digital song sales. Uh, Jimmy's sing, uh, family announced his final album featuring a duet with Paul McCartney will come out in November. We'll be right back, everyone. Back in a moment. <laughs> Don't forget to get tickets to our show. Go to eventbrite.com and search for The Jason Show. It is time for the surprise goodbye. The way it works is like this. Kendall and I have no idea what executive producer Jeff puts in this segment until I read it for the first time right now. Here we go. Today, a woman accidentally misplaces her AirPods, and you'll never guess where. Watch this. Through my walk, I decided to take my vitamins. So I put my vitamins in, took a drink, and I was like, man, those are stuck. So I guzzled my water, kept on going, said to goodbye, but goodbye to Kathleen, and um, went to go get my AirPod, and <laughs> my pills were in my hand. <laughs> I swallowed my AirPod. I swallowed my AirPod. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my goodness. She shared this on social saying she went to a doctor and should be just fine. <laughs> does she? Yeah, what happens? How, uh, I'm not a doctor. I mean, does she? No, it no, no, goes no, 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 in no. one end and it comes out the other uh, no, one. No, I know. <laughs> Thank you for that anatomy lesson there. 
Oh my goodness, I have so many questions. Tomorrow, <laughs> wine diva Leslie Miller answers some of your top questions that she get, gets asked about wine, plus the latest travel deals as well. But right now, that's going to do it for us. If you're watching and you're a kid that's being bullied, go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I have so many questions. <laughs> that would hurt.